In this video, I'm going to be showing you the love stone. The love stone. The most beautiful, beautiful gemstone that I own. And it's not only beautiful because of the color, but it's also very, very beautiful because of what it represents. The lovely rose quartz crystal. Introducing her. Okay, so this is the rose quartz crystal. Oh, my hand movements are just not coordinated at all. It's uh, pink in color. Oh, there you see. It's a quartz crystal and is a, it's a stone for the heart. Those are the properties of this crystal, the rose quartz. It's for the higher heart. It's a love stone. It heals your heart. It's a fourth chakra stone. The stone of giving and receiving. And the stone that helps you to love yourself. This is what this stone has done for me. It has helped me love myself. I really, 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 really had a lot of issues with loving myself and I have made tremendous progress. I've used all the tools that are available, that I know of, that my consciousness has been opened to, to be able to treat myself, to heal myself, based on the understanding of the properties of this beautiful stones that I own. And based on the knowledge of what they can help someone achieve in their lives by just the, the properties that they have and how those properties interact with the, our understanding and help us to go deep within ourselves and heal ourselves. The Rose Quartz has brought me a lot of healing. And as a result, I use the Rose Quartz to send love to all the people that I love. So let me show you what I do. So I have on a piece of paper the names of all my family members, my dad, my mom, my brothers, my sisters, everybody, as you can see on this piece of paper. So I wrote down the names of all my family members, their spouses, their kids, my nieces and nephews, you know, and whoever it was that was in my heart to um, love at the moment. So I take this piece of paper and I place my rose quartz on top of the piece of paper and you know I'm really big on having um, symbolic objects in my house and I always completely believe that in my space everything that I have or most of the things that I have have to have some kind of um, significance so every time I look at my rose quartz I see the piece of paper with the names of all my family members and I send them love I remember that my rose quartz which is my stone of love whoa whoa I love it um, is right there with all the people that I love, all the members of my family and their spouses and their, and their kids. And um, I constantly use that as a reminder to send them love whenever I think about them. And I'm constantly believing that, you know, the properties of the stone is infusing their lives um, with love, you know, so they can remember that they're loved, God loves them, the universe loves them, people love them, I love them, and I keep sending them that energy, and I use the rose quartz as a symbol of my love for them. So you'll, when you come to my house, or if you ever do visit, you'll find <laughs> all the people I love seated right underneath my rose quartz in a special place. So... That's my stone, the rose quartz. If you really have heart issues, if you have problems giving and receiving, if you have heartbreak, you know, and you're looking for um, a crystal that's special, you know, you should always pick the, the crystal that calls to you. But in case you really, really want to work on your heart and on love to the highest degree, really, think about, and if you're into crystals, that is, um, and stones and their healing properties, Think about or consider the rose quartz. It will totally, totally enlarge your life, expand you, heal you, and just help you um, open up to the goodness that the world has to offer. So that's my rose quartz. Do you have any favorite crystals that help you with your heart issues or issues of the fourth chakra, giving and receiving? 
Are you cold? Are you open? Are you warm? Are you loving? Are you unloving? Do people give to you? Are you a giver or a receiver? Are you a receiver or a giver? You know, there's a difference. So let me know. Maybe you do need the rose quartz. See you next time.